Yeah, and it's funny. There's a lot of things like for me, uh, wrestling Pat McAfee at SummerSlam in an NFL stadium. You know, we were on the Colts together, and we just clicked it clicked instantly as buds. And we played golf, and we went to Howl at the Moon, and we just did all these fun things uh, while we were in India, and just really became tight. And we knew of this impending lockout in the NFL, and um, we clicked over wrestling was one of the things. We we're both massive wrestling fans. Uh, you know, me being from Kansas City, we had you know Harley Race's whole territory that that ran Kansas City. We'd go to shows as kids, seeing Kamala, seeing uh, Flair, all of these amazing people. So I've been a fan, and Pat and I were like, well, like let's if we get locked out, let's go train to be wrestlers. Wow. And so we were looking at at the time, OVW was the only thing, the only way I knew, because I was naive to the whole independent scene. Like I knew of wrestling in Japan, and then I knew of WWE. Like I was very naive to any other company that was out there. And we knew o OVW was where, you know, Cena, Batista, Lesnar, all those dudes came out of. So we're yeah. like, okay, well, if that's the funnel, like let's go there if we're locked out and train. And uh, that was the whole plan. And then I got released and went to Arizona and Pat had an amazing NFL career. And the lockout was short, you know, when we did get yeah. locked out. Um, Pat was your roommate? Uh, I stayed at his, he had, he was a draft pick, so he had good money and, and we, uh, you either stayed at the Candlewood Suites, I think, which was the hotel that uh, Indy put us in, yeah. or you, you know, like for him, he got a, uh, an apartment, and he had, so I hung out and slept there uh, for a little while instead of just staying in the Candlewood Suites. So we were roommates for a hot minute. There are and, uh, legendary stories about Pat, like oh, there as are. an animal. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> They're uh, they're they're not for air here, <laughs> but I have quite a few good ones with Pat. So that was a cool like culmination in my career of like, we talked about becoming WWE superstars, training together, and then to wrestle each other in an NFL stadium. Like what a full circle kind of cool moment for myself and for him. I think what what is this X factor that he has? Like you plug him into WWE and it's like he's been there forever. You plug him into anything. That's true. I don't. There's just special people in the world. Um, and I think there's a, a lot that goes into it. I don't think it's just a personality trait. I think you gotta be a good human. I think you have to have a positive or a vibe, energy, all of these things in it. And it just creates this special entity. And he is one of those special entities where, um, you know, despite things that he's done, like whether it was the one time he got, uh, jumped in or decided to allegedly jump in the river behind and, you know, got in trouble a little bit. But, like, people didn't care. Like, that's just Pat McAfee. Like, mm -hmm. whatever. Who cares? Where other people that could have ruined a career. Yeah. Um, but he had a successful NFL career. Then he went into comedy and he went into barstool sports and those things and was super successful. Like, his comedy. And he did that himself. He would – took his money – and he would rent out an arena or amphitheater or whatever he wanted to perform in. He would sell the tickets and then he would do the show. And he wow. had massive success in that. And then, you know, he decided to take a, a chance on himself with his own show, the Pat McAfee show. And the success is obviously you see him now on ESPN every every day. Like the success is unreal. And it's then come to WWE and be a competitor. Like how many people can do that? Not just you know, he's not just an average guy walking in there. Like, mm -hmm. he's been in the ring with Vince. He's been in there, uh, you know, with theater, like WrestleMania moments. Myself, he's with Miz, with all these he people. He was just and, in the ring with The Rock. The Rock, yeah. and, and that was amazing. And, like, um, there's just something about him that I think people gravitate to. And then I think because, I don't want to say the term blue collar because he's anything but that, but he is like relatable to anybody and everybody. Yeah. He's like that Midwestern guy. Yeah. yeah. Whether it's a dude that's worth $500 million, he can have a conversation and they find common ground or it's a guy that, you know, is struggling to get by. He's like, man, I, I see myself in this guy. And I think yeah, that's yeah. What, what Pat has that makes him special is, um, any room, any situation, any group of people, everybody's gonna be like, man, I like that guy. Yeah. There's just something about him. And I, I don't think it's one thing, like I said, and he's such a great human to his employees, his friends, uh, you know, the text messages he sent to me today was just like, this guy is as pure as, as they come. And he will help out his friends. Like when he signed a big deal, he dropped backpacks of cash off to his employees. Wow. Like who does that? Yeah. He's so giving. His wife it runs a, a nonprofit dog thing, like, you know, raising money for elder dogs and stuff like that. Like they're just just quality people. And I think if you have that, if you're not that, if you're an 
a hole secretly behind it, you're not going to have the success that he's had. So it's, I don't know. It's just he's one of those one in a million people.